Morning everybody, it's Fragrant Jock here with another honest opinion. I hope everybody's safe and well. I'm not going to spin the globe today. I'll give it a rest. I'll give the globe a rest. Anyway, it's getting close to Halloween. Um, I suppose most people will be just staying in. I've noticed a lot of people are putting uh, Halloween stuff up well before it. More so than any year. It's probably because of what's happened this year. And people are just... Board. And it will be the same with Christmas. The, probably the first Christmas decorations and trees will go up very, very early. Um, that's what I think anyway. Anyway, today's honest opinions on this one, which is late and exclusive by Perfumes de Marley, Paris. Um, this is a box. It came in a really lovely box. It opens up and it, the bottle sits there. And that is the bottle there. It's a really lovely, heavy classy bottle like all their fragrances i was really eager to try this there's mixed reviews on late and exclusive but i'm glad i did um and there's a couple of things i want to say about this this is a really luxurious um perfume aftershave i would say it's more masculine but you know, females could get away with it, but it is more masculine. It's probably one of the most masculine scents. I think on Fragrantica, somebody said in a review that this was a mix. If Leighton, ordinary Leighton, and Interlude Man had a child, this was this. It would be this, and I I can relate to that. It's got that Interlude Man feel to it, uh, with the Gaillac wooden things. And the, the darkness in it and the deep kind of smell. And it's got that kind of latent. Every now and again when you wear this, you get whiffs of the original latent. Plus you're getting the guy act would come through. It really is a luxurious masculine smell. It really is. And it projects really, really well. I put, it in, I put one spray on one hand and I wash my hands and put uh, sanitizer on it several times. And I could still smell it. It really is potent. This is a 75 ml. I don't know if it comes in 125. It probably does. But I get a deal. There was a code on the Tino.com ages ago. Um, and I get £49 off it. So I got it for about £116. Which was a great deal for this kind of quality of juice. But it really is a lovely scent. I would really recommend if you can afford something like this. It really is. I mean you could wear it any time but. Really, on a night out or a formal occasion, this would go down really well. Really well. Anyway, I was interested, in, and while I had this, I ordered the Perfume Parlors version. Um, super Relative. Um, 1877. So I bought this just out of curiosity. Um, because, you know, there is a lot of inspired expressions by Perfume Parlour. I mean, their herb garden latent is spot on. It really is the best of smell. And some of their other stuff is really nice. But, trust me when I say it, I've got this on. It, when it dries down super relative, there is a kind of similar... Smell, you get that kind of de latent DNA, but believe me, it's nowhere near this. It's absolutely nowhere near this. I would say, if you're going with uh, percentages, there's about 25% of similarity between the two of them. But I'm no not in perfume parlour, because they do some good jobs. Once you spray it, it's nothing like it. When it dries down, after about, you know half an hour, 20 minutes, there is a similar smell, but this is nothing like it, it's pure class, this is a really, really luxurious smell, and there's a lot of bad reviews, and it is very subjective, but for me, this is lovely, I would say, so far, it's my favourite of Perfumes de Marley, um, I mean, some people might buy the perfume parlor. I think it's it's quite close to it, but I don't think so. And especially in the opening, when it dries down, there is a slight similarity, but not anywhere near this. Um, I'll not go through the notes. There's a ton of notes in this, but as I say, if you shop around, Sea Scents are also doing a deal. Um, 
I think there's a discount on it. Plus, you can take it through, um, pay it in three instalments. If you don't want to pay it right away, through different um, ways of paying it, you can pay it. You know, whatever sixty odd pound uh, over three months. You know, if if you've not got the hundred and odd pound to splash out right away, um, but it really is a lovely scent. If you're looking for really luxurious formal scent, masculine. Clip crowd pleaser, you'll get compliments with this. This is it. It really is a quite a complex, elegant smell. You're getting that latent, and you're getting the gayak wood, and you're getting that kind of oody smell. But it's not a skanky oud. For me, it's not dead. It's not really animal, animalic either. You're not getting anything bad out of it. It really is a, a nice smell. Whereas... Uh, oh, I hate to not perfume parlour, but the other day I tried that penny, uh, penny, and and that was meant to be like Carlisle, and for me it just smelled like a guy behind me in an old church, smoking a pipe, but this is a really lovely, luxurious smell. But saying that about perfume parlour, they're late in the spot on. It really is the best I've tried. But anyway, just a quick honest opinion. I hope everybody's safe and well. As I say, if you're looking for something. Luxurious or a, a gift over Christmas or buy it, treat yourself. I guarantee you'll like this. There's no many people that won't. Okay, bye for now.